In this video we will see how to use APIs in our forms. APIs are used to connect to the external services in order to fetch some data or to perform some action using the API provided by them. Here you can see the list of APIs which are available to use. You can even add your own, using the add category option that can be consumed. In this example we will see how we can use Slack APIs to send messages to the user. It can be consumed either in the form or can be called once a form is submitted using workflow. Let's start with the first part where we send a Slack message from the form. For this, we need to add text control, drop down control and action button. Let's name the text control as a Slack message. Drop down control is select Slack user. And the action button is send Slack message. Next step is to configure the API for the screen, so we will go to the API section, select category as Slack and subcategory as get user list and give a friendly name to this API that can be used to call it in the form. Here the select account is a list of Slack accounts I have connected with and below is the sample API response for get user list subcategory. Let's save it. Now we will get the list of Slack users to this dropdown. For populating the data to a control, we have a function called bindAPI which accepts the API friendly name which we just gave followed by the list of keys you want from the API response. You can separate multiple keys using commas. We will need a name key to show a Slack user name and for sending a Slack message we will need a Slack ID which is required by send Slack message API. We can update the header name that will show as headers in dropdown control. Let's save this. Now once we select the user in a dropdown we want the Slack ID to be selected from the dropdown which is at the second index, so we will update the default column number to 2. For sending a Slack message we need to add one more API. Let's select Slack as a category and send message subcategory and name it as send message. Let's select an account. Here as you can see the send message API has two required parameters, one is the channel parameter which is the Slack ID that we have configured in the select user dropdown. Let's add a unique name to the dropdown which is select Slack user. A text parameter is the message you want to send to the user. Let's map this with the text control which has a unique name Slack message. Next is we have to call this API on click of the send Slack message action button. For calling an API from the action button we have a function called call API and in double quotes we need to add the name of the API which we just added which is send message. Let's save it and our API is configured. Let's preview it and see this in action. We will add a message and select a user. Here you can see the second index which is the Slack ID that is selected. Let's click on the Slack message. Here you can see the Slack message is sent by the bot. This is how we configure and use our API from form pages. Next, let's do the same thing from workflow. For this we will add a submit button. We will have to create a workflow on the same screen. We will call it, send Slack message and link the workflow to the submit button. Now open this workflow. We will have to add a Slack category and select send message subcategory since we need to send a message. You can also connect your Slack account if not already added. Let's add one more account and submit it. It will ask for authorization, you can simply allow it and your account will be added as shown here. Let me select this account. Here I can either select users from this list of users to make it static, or I can get the user info from the select user dropdown I have added in the form. And for the message field, I can add the unique name of the Slack message text control. Let's continue and add a task name. You can use the add variable option to add a variable and assign a particular key from the API response that can be then used by other tasks. Workflow is now configured. Now let's see how we can send Slack messages using a submit button. We need to enable the Submit Data option in order to call Workflow. Enter a Slack message and select User and click on Submit button this time. 
you can see the message we just sent using Workflow on Slack. That is how we configure and use API in Workflow. Thank you for watching. For more videos visit our YouTube page.